Okay, let's take a look at question four in topic set nine, chem 11. This is a question about pi and sigma bonds in the valence bond model, and also a question about hybrid orbitals, which is a concept in the valence bond model. So the question gives you a molecule called indigo, which is a dye, and the structure is shown right here. And the question is how many sigma and pi bonds exist in the molecule? A quick reminder, a sigma bond is basically the first bond you have. All single bonds would be sigma bond. In a double bond, you would count the first one to be sigma. In a triple bond, same thing, you'll count the first one to be sigma. A pi bond, this is the one that you get from sort of P to P overlap, and that would only exist in multiple bonds. So the second bond in a double bond would be considered a pi bond. The second and the third bonds in a triple bond would be considered a pi bond. That would be sort of the easy way of determining sigma and pi. So let's take a look at this molecule and count how many sigma and how many pi we have. So this, in terms of sigma, we can start with the main structure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then we'll go to the outside now. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so a total of 33 sigma bond. Now let's take a look at the pi bond. With the pi bond, we just need to calculate at the double or the triple bonds. In this case, we don't have any triple bonds, so we just need to calculate the double bond, and one of the double bonds becomes a pi bond. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a total of nine pi bonds. Okay, now let's answer a second question. Second question is, what hybrid orbitals are used by the carbon atoms in the indigo molecule? So let's take a look. If I look at the carbon, each carbon turns out to have the same number of bonds, effective pair. So I just circle three there so there's three pairs of electrons around it but if I look at the next carbon also has three in fact if I look at any of the carbon at all in this whole molecule they all have three pairs of electrons so I can go to this one that's three pairs three effective pairs remember double bonds counted as one here's three right let's take a look at say this one right here there's three also one two three let's take a look at this one right here one two three and this one right here one two three one two three so you can see that all the carbons actually have three bonds around them. Now, three pairs of electrons, this is in the electron geometry, right, means that it's going to use sp2 hybrid orbital. So in other words, all the carbons here are sp2 hybrid orbital carbons. Now, this is important because sp2, if you remember, means a trigonal planar structure. So what this is telling us is that this whole, this whole molecule right here, all of the carbons are actually flat. They're all on the plane of the paper. So this this molecule, despite the fact that it's really big, is actually a flat molecule, just exactly as drawn what it looks like, which is rare because a lot of molecules, they are three-dimensional, so sometimes they come out of the plane of the paper or go behind the plane of the paper, but this molecule is completely flat. Okay.